Fashion allows us to break many boundaries for gender, sexuality. It allows us to just build our own identities that we are proud of and be individual about them. For the first time um, in South Africa, I'll be fronting a campaign for American Swiss. The campaign is a salute to the modern man. Um, inspired sort of by the threaded man is that it's, it's, it's about inspiring men to pay attention to the details they wouldn't pay attention to normally and that detail is jewelry. Um, most of the time men we talk about incredible clothes, we talk about what we should wear, the shoes, the shirt, the tie, but we never think about like the tie clip or the bracelet or the watch and this campaign is about inspiring men to care more about that. <laughs> So the stuff that I'm wearing now was it was actually the last scene that we shot and it was actually inspired sort of by like safari, adventure, traveling and also sort of traditional textures and feels. Um, on this hand I'm wearing this incredible like temple watch. I'm also at the same time wearing these leather bangles as well with also some nice added textures and details. So when it comes to accessories I always think guys don't like to explore that much, they only stick to watches. But wear some rings, add some texture, add some adventure. So that's what I like about this look, it's very adventurous for me and I, and I really dig it. Threadman began as an, a concept in high school when I was in matric and one of the things that inspired the Threadman was the fact that I was not seeing enough black male representation in magazines. Fashion was in a weird state where it was very classist. It was if you're not wearing Louis Vuitton you're not stylish. If you're wearing Pep then you're not stylish. And I was like well not all of us can afford to wear Louis Vuitton you know but we still can be stylish. It was about, it was about breaking those it was about breaking classism in fashion, that fashion is for everyone, fashion should be accessible to everyone. I'm getting to a point where the brand, The Thread Man, is just growing stronger and stronger, where a lot of young, the male market specifically, and women who follow us, the community is just growing to a point where brands can't ignore. Yesterday I was in a meeting with a brand that didn't want to work with me two years ago, but now it's gotten to a point where I'm starting to monopolize the market and they're like, okay, cool, we need to talk to this guy because he has that market. So I think I've sort of forced brands to collaborate. I mean, when I started Threaded Man, brands were like, what are you talking about? What is this concept of black, young, African millennials? But now it's like, hey, we need to work with this guy. Well, you can follow me on my portal, um, thethreadman.co.za, and it's the Threadman across Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you want to keep up with my crazy personal adventures, it's at Sia Beile across every single platform. That's S-I-Y-A-B-E-Y-L-E. -E. Cool. And also if you want to follow out the exciting stuff that's going to be happening with American Swiss over the next few weeks and our big announcement that's coming up, you can follow American Swiss on Facebook, American Swiss on Twitter, and most importantly American Swiss on Instagram because that's where we're going to be dropping it like it's hot. <laughs>